Hello everybody, welcome back. And if you are new, welcome. My name is Chris. Today is part two of a series of videos I'm doing, 50 fragrances under $50. I have a very large collection of fragrances and they run the gamut from anywhere around $20 all the way up to far, far away from $20. And my fragrance collection kind of represents my personal fragrance journey, the vast majority of my life, I have not been able to afford any really nice fragrances. However, I've loved perfume since the time I was eight years old. My very first allowance at eight years old, I spent buying little samples of fragrances. And even though now I'm at a place in my life that if I want to splurge, if I want to buy a really fancy, nice, expensive fragrance, I can do that. I usually try to pace myself but that doesn't mean that I don't like a good bargain. It doesn't mean that I'm not always looking for that needle in the haystack, that one fragrance or that handful of fragrances that smells spectacular and is very, very affordable. And I have a large collection of those. I've actually gathered several of them as I've had this channel so that I always have something nice at a low price point. Now, it is Labor Day weekend. I typically film on Friday nights after work well, it's been raining and it's rained all day. So the sky's opened up. It's about six o'clock at night. Let me check what time it is. It's 5.30. And here in the Midwest, it's gotten colder quickly. My pool is even almost too cold to get into. The sun's going down earlier and I have about 25 fragrances to get through. So part one of this series was, I think it was 10 fragrances that were under $50 that I just didn't care for. I personally, didn't think they were good smelling fragrances even though they had a great price point and those I have decluttered or I'm in the process of decluttering. This middle category, these 25 fragrances, these are fragrances that I think are very very good fragrances. They're not the cream of the crop, they're not the very top, they're not the top 15, but they're still fragrances that I think are made really well and are set at a very good price point. There aren't any fragrances in here that I just don't like. Some of you may not like these fragrances because a lot of them are not beast mode. And as you can imagine, I have people on my channel that love beast mode fragrances and I have people on my channel that like them on the quieter, softer side. So if you're really into your niche fragrances and you're only looking for something that's a big heavy hitter fragrance, it's probably not in this collection. My top 15, there are some heavy hitters in there, some fragrances that do last, and that's one of the reasons why they made it into the top 15. But these are still great fragrances, and I can guarantee you, I will talk about some of these, and in the comments I'm going to get, I have that fragrance, and I love the fragrance. At the same time, there's gonna be comments that say, I had that fragrance and I got rid of it because it just didn't last long. So to each his own, I was stressing about getting this video done in a timely manner because if you've ever been here before, you know that I am quite the talker and I didn't know how I was gonna get through 25 fragrances in a reasonable amount of time. I'm gonna divide that into two. This is gonna be the speed dating equivalent of fragrance reviews today. And these fragrances are in no particular order at all. I'm just gonna grab and go. And with that, let's get started. So this first fragrance that I picked up should have been in my white t-shirt fragrance video. It just got overlooked because if you've seen my videos before, you'll know that I store my fragrances all over the place. I have a very large collection and sometimes it's out of sight, out of mind. And this is a fragrance I don't see anybody talk about. And as long as you like light, fresh fragrances that don't last forever, you may very well love this fragrance. And it is called CK1 Gold. And I think this is actually marketed towards men, but this is a really nice, casual, citrusy, woody, aromatic, floral fragrance with fig. When I guessed the notes in here, I guessed there was an opening of lavender. There's no lavender in here. I think it's, oh, it's sage. And then there's some really bright citruses. I would guess lemon, <laughs> lemon and bergamot, maybe grapefruit. And there's a really nice, fresh fig. It's not too sweet and it's not too green. I don't like green fig that just doesn't go over well with me. There has to be a little bit of sweetness and a little bit of freshness. It does have a nice sweetness to it, but it's not a sweet fragrance. It's like a, a powdery sweetness. And I wanna say, I think there's violet in here, but it's very nice, very refreshing, a great warmer weather fragrance. If you live somewhere warmer, the negative is it doesn't last long. 
It doesn't last longer than four hours. So, but it's still a great fragrance. I wanna say, I think I wrote it down. Did I write it down somewhere? I wrote it down. I wrote all the prices down. I paid $30 for this. Yeah, so $30 for this and it is a 3.4 ounce. So a great quick grab and go. Fresh, aromatic, fig fragrance for around $30. So the next fragrance is majorly, majorly underrated. It is by Mont Blanc, and this is called Presence d'une Femme. And of course, I'll put the name up on the, uh, on the screen. Oh, I had it upside down. This is a great fragrance. I wore this a couple times this week. This is spicy. This is a spicy, woody fragrance with like overripe citruses. I love this. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. Woo, okay, this has pepper in it. It has like an overripe orange or mandarin note to it. There's some beautiful woods in here, like spicy woods and spicy florals. But it has a heavy dose of patchouli and there is um, vanilla in the dry down. It's not sweet at all. But it is just a great, very unique fragrance that I absolutely love and I wrote down, what did I pay for this? I paid $25, $30 for this. And this is like a 2.5 ounce. Oh my gosh, one of the best fragrances in this basket right here. Longevity is moderate, okay? It's really good on clothes. On skin, I would say it's around four hours. So, okay, so the next one um, I have spoken about before a couple times. And if I go over these too quickly, I have spoken about most of these, almost all, maybe, maybe 10 or so I haven't talked about. I'm gonna link the videos below other videos I've spoken about them in greater detail. The next one I've talked about a lot and I posted this on Instagram. This is Elizabeth and James Nirvana White. I love their packaging here. I just love it. And what did I pay for this? Uh, this one I didn't write down what I paid for. I want to say it was around $20. So this is a, a fresh, clean, floral musk. This has peony. This has the lily of the valley and musk and that's about what you get. It's just, wow, this is very... There has to be some sort of citrusy and citrusy note in here. It's just a super easy wear, easy reach, light, likable fragrance. Another good one for the white t-shirt. Again, I would say moderate longevity. When I say moderate, I'm talking about four hours. And this is so cute. I think this is a one ounce bottle. You can just put it in your bag, grab and go. Okay, so the next one is Gio Franco Ferre. Rose. I spoke about this, I think it was in my summer florals. And this is a, like a spicy, peppery rose with watermelon. Of course there's rose. This is one of two fragrances I have with watermelon in it. This kind of reminds me of just a little bit, and I mean a little, little, little bit of Parfums de Marley de Lina La Rose. I mean, just a little bit in that they both have this little watermelon thing going on and that's about it. Then they're different fragrances. This is a much more affordable option. It's a little bit more citrusy. It has more citruses in it. Like I said, there's, there's pepper or pink pepper and it definitely has some sort of white floral. I would guess freesia or maybe peony. It's just a touch touch synthetic a little bit soapy moderate longevity and again spice things up i think i brought about maybe five or six different pairs of sunglasses i have to entertain myself too guys oh let me open my dr pepper Whew. thirsty okay got my dr pepper this means business let's grab this one is another there are several elizabeth and james in here which i think is a great or one of the best celebrity lines ever because I love the packaging and I think the fragrances in general are good. The only downside is longevity. People are starting to come out and play in their pool in the backyard because it's sunny now. Again, it was raining all day. But um, so this one, what I grabbed, this one is Amethyst right here. I love these packages. And did I write down what I paid for this? No, it was less than $30. I'm almost positive. So this, I would describe this as a smoky tobacco fragrance with some floral nuances. This is a little on the spicy side and you can definitely, I'm a fan of most cedar. This is a very woody fragrance. I definitely get the cedar. Why did I think there was lavender in here? There's no lavender in here. I don't, 
Maybe there is. Maybe I should look that up. <laughs> Smoky tobacco with florals. Yes, a little bit spicy and very woody. You have to love cedar to love this one. I think this is really nice. This is an affordable, almost very pencil shavy. So this cedar comes off very pencil shavy. So if you don't like that kind of a scent, you're not gonna like this. And this is another one where longevity isn't great. I would say, you know, three to four hours. Man, that smells good. That smells really good. I need to wear this more often. I don't care about longevity. Well, I do care. If it's less than two hours, I care. If it's less than one hour, I care. Other than that, I can make it work, particularly at my job. Those work really well. The ones that aren't, you know, powerhouses. So speaking of lavender, why don't we go for the one that actually has lavender in it. This is an Oscar de la Renta. And I think this is called lavender in this humongous bottle. And I did declutter the one in the greenish blue bottle. I want to say it was called Tropicale. It was a really good fragrance. It just blended in with so many things that I have. It was like a fruity fragrance or fruity floral. I just have so many of those and it was really, really light. I took it to work. I gave it to a coworker. She absolutely loves it, wears it all the time. It is the perfect work fragrance because if you are new, we work at a hospital and she has a lot of patient contact, so it's perfect. She doesn't offend anybody. But this is called a lavender, and I really like this one. This is um, soft and sweet and woody with a little bit of a vanilla freshness. This definitely has lavender in it. It also has, you know, like a citrusy freshness. It's very cozy. It's very relaxing in the dry down. It dries down nice and sweet. Um, another one that's not a powerhouse, it's not going to last forever. This one I find is a really good, like a bedtime fragrance. I love it because it's on the softer side, but it's a nice lavender that's not screechy. So this one is really good and I know I paid in the mid 20s or less for this one. So let's grab one that I just spoke about in my my white t-shirt fragrance. It is this by Moschino and it's called I Love Love. This was gifted to me by my lovely friend Yulia over at Siblings.ca. Um, she gifted this to me and it's great. It's a real citrusy, it's a fresher version of Dolce & Gabbana light blue, whereas this one has grapefruit. It's a little bit lighter, it's a little bit more tangy. And they both have about the same longevity. In fact, no, my Intense, I have light blue Intense. That one lasts a little bit longer. This is a great grab and go, just inoffensive, happy, fun, white t-shirt, perfect summery white t-shirt fragrance. Lasts about three to four hours. Okay, I'm making good time. This next one I have spoken about many times. It is by Lanvin and it's called A Girl in Capri while I grab my um, unused blotter. Nope, that's used. So this one is, if you took lemonade and you made shaved ice or a snow cone, this is what it would smell like and you added just a little bit of florals. Oh, that is so nice and refreshing. There is some sort of floral, again, I'm gonna guess freesia, but it's just very light, it's clean, it's whimsical. I'm pretty sure I paid $18 for this cute little bottle and longevity is not great. I learned how to layer this with some Bath & Body Works lemon based lotions and this smells great. In fact, there's one lotion and I'll put it up on the screen because I'm blanking on the name. I actually got it at a grocery store when I went to visit my parents in Houston and you pair these two together and it smells like a lemon meringue pie. It is delicious. But yeah, this one is great if you layer it with a lotion and it's just adorable. Adorable, affordable, freshy. Okay, so the next one is one that was recommended to me by a subscriber who has been with me since the beginning, which is hard to imagine. She stuck around that long. And it's hard to imagine she actually kept watching me after my first videos, which were horrible and you're not allowed to watch them. But this one is called Venitas by Versace. My friend Tammy Roxanne recommended this to me. This one is really nice. This is a just a real nice white floral with lime. This is a great, and of course this could have made my white t-shirt fragrance video. This is, and this is a really nice 
work fragrance because it's on the softer side. Gardenia in here? Is that gardenia? It's not tuberose. It's, yeah, that's gardenia. This gardenia, it's a little bit woody, like a clean woody, and it dries down sweet. So maybe vanilla or tonka, but it's not sweet at all. This is one that I actually, it doubles as a room spray. It's great as a perfume or a room spray. And I wanna say I paid around mid 20s, maybe 30 for this one. I am gonna have to take a break in a second because the perfumes are falling off my little bench here. So the next one is a great one. This one was $18. This is by Asia Provocateur. This is called Electric. This one happens to be a very citrus forward fragrance that does not smell like a, a lemon cleaner because this has a lot of lemon in it. A lot of times they can smell like a cleaning product. This one does not. This one does not cross over into that category, at least in my opinion. So it's super, super fresh and it has fig in it and it's like a, a woody fig. So it has the fig and the fig leaf and the fig stems. It's very, I do like this. It is a nice woody fig. Again, it's not too green. It's not too sharp, very fresh. And it also has a nice sandalwood, I wanna say. Yeah, super, super nice. This one I wore a lot this summer in a casual situation, especially for you fig lovers who like something fresh up at the top. And don't mind something that doesn't last all day. Again, probably three, four hours with this one. one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, so why don't we grab, uh, let's see. Oops, sunglasses down. Okay, why don't we grab this one. David Yerman, Exotic Essence. This actually made one of my smell expensive on a budget videos. Because it smells great, but the longevity isn't fabulous. That's why it's not in my top 15, but I still think it's very good. I think the David Yerman uh, fragrances in general are underrated. This is a tester. I'm looking at the back of it and I think I paid $18 for this. I put the cap down. Let me give this a little spray. I know this has peach in it. This is a like a peach, spicy, woody floral. So um, peach, orange, patchouli. Camera cut me off. Little camera stoppage here. Let's see. We Where were we? We were talking about um, the floral in here is rose. So what's prominent in here uh, the I get peach, there's orange, patchouli, there's a little amber in the base. It's sweet and a little bit powdery. And it just reminds me of fragrances from the 90s. A lot of fragrances from the 90s had peach in them. And this is just a really elegant smelling fragrance that, let me see what I paid for it. I wrote them all down on a sheet. Okay, I paid $15 for this because it was a tester. I mean, come on. 3.4 ounces, who cares how long it lasts? Well, I know a lot of you do care, but for $15, I mean, some coffees cost more than that, certainly lunch. But yeah, so you're not gonna offend anybody if you wear this to the office. It is one you're gonna have to over spray or really pair with another lotion or just have a soft fragrance. But I mean, for $15, I'm happy I have it. And so let's see. I'm, I see that I forgot one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right, let's call it with this one. This will be the end of part one with my Nina Ricci. And I forgot the name of this. This is called Rose Extase, I want to say. Yeah, in this little pink bottle. And this is a happy, uplifting, fruity rose. <laughs> Kids are having a good old time on the other side of the fence. Yeah, so the rose in here is kind of half clean and crisp, and the other half, it's a little sweet, just a little jammy, I would say. So half and half. It has a real fruity playfulness to it. There's berries or fruits, I wanna say red berries, but there's also a tartness here. So maybe some citrus is up at the top. It's got a little bit of tartness to it. So a lot of people compare this to Delina, I think, there are a lot of differences. This one is a lot more tart. It's more fresh. It's a little bit soapy. It does not have that green rhubarb thing going on. I think this is a nice fragrance for the warmer weather. I don't think this does well in the cold. I haven't worn it in a long, long time. But this really is a warmer weather fragrance and it does, in the warmer weather, it lasts 
has great longevity. I would say five to six hours on this one. And with that, I'm going to stop for part one. I'm gonna keep filming, but I'm just gonna end it right here for part one. And then part two will finish up with my kind of my mid-range fragrances under $50. And then on the next video, we'll cover the rest of these fragrances that are in the mid-range. And on the final video, I will do like my top fragrances under $50. And I should have said in the opening, there are no dupes in here. And the reason I say no dupes and that these are all original is that, I mean, is that my dog? Oh, can you see my little dog? She's over there. Hi, Winnie. Hi, sweetie. Is that I could do 200 fragrances under 50. I could do 300 fragrances under $50. So that's not the point. The point is these are all original. It has nothing to do with my view on dupes or whatever. It's just these are original, no dupes as far as I know of. So yeah, the next one will be part two of this one. So part three is going to be finishing out these 25 fragrances that are in the middle. Fragrances I think that are very good. And I think all of them were under $30 that I talked about. And then, and then part four, the best of the best, my final smell expensive on a budget, my final episode of that one. So if you like this video and you're interested to see what the other 12 in this little collection are, I will see you next week. That'll come out next week. And thank you again for sticking around. Thanks for stopping by. And if you have any really good suggestions that I didn't mention, I'd love to hear about it in the comment section. And with that, I'll see you next week.